Welcome back to the course on audio signal processing for music applications. In the previous uh, demo class, we introduced Audacity, which was a sound editor, uh, quite useful to uh, do small edits and uh, visualizing uh, sound. In this class, uh, we introduce another uh, sound tool, Sonic Visualizer, which is quite complementary to Audacity. It's uh, more oriented towards uh, research and it has uh, a lot of uh, capabilities for analyzing and visualizing advanced aspects of uh, sound. Um, this uh, is a tool that uh, was developed at Queen Mary in uh, London uh, and it's uh, available under all the common platforms and distributed with a very open license, uh, also the, the GNU uh, public license. So it's a very uh, good tool. Uh, I recommend you uh, very much to uh, install it and use it. And that uh, will be quite useful for, uh, for the class. So let's first um, go to uh, where to get it. Uh, if you type uh, in Google uh, Sonic uh, Visualizer, um, it, it uh, will uh, show the, the page of sonicvisualizer.org. And in it, uh, you will find a lot of information about it. Um, and projects that have been uh, using uh, this uh, tool. And also something that we will uh, talk uh, a little bit about it is uh, the plugin system that uh, it was developed together with Sonic Visualizer, which is these uh, bump plugins. Uh, many people have developed uh, analysis uh, tools for Sonic Visualizer using this plugin system. So we will be able to have uh, access to quite a bit of uh, algorithms and analysis tools uh, for sound. Um, if you go to the download page, um, you can get it for uh, all these uh, common platforms. Uh, in this class, we use Ubuntu, so we downloaded the Ubuntu version. I already did that, uh, so uh, let's go directly to the program. Um, this is the main interface of Sonic Visualizer. And the first thing we, we do is open a sound file. In this directory where I keep all the files I will be using in class. Uh, for example, let's uh, use this speech female sound. Okay, this is the, the waveform. Uh, you can, of course, zoom in uh, uh, with these uh, two wheels. That's quite nice. And we can play it. This is the V of Vendetta. Okay, um, the navigation is uh, quite uh, good and quite powerful to navigate through the whole sound. So uh, it allows us to zoom in into particular parts that we want to analyze. A basic concept of uh, Sonic Visualizer is the idea of panes and layers. Panes are basically these uh, windows. Uh, so this is a, a pane in which uh, we are displaying the, the, the waveform. Let's, for example, open another pane, uh, which is, uh, for example, the spectrogram that uh, we mentioned also with uh, Audacity. So in here, we're visualizing the pane of um, the spectrogram. And here, the control of uh, the analysis parameters is a little bit easier. So we have it right here on, on the right um, side. So for example, we can increase the window size uh, and then we can zoom quite more easily and see the harmonics of uh, this speech sound. And also we see the, the kind of the silences and uh, we see the areas in which there is uh, some uh, consonant, like these more darker areas in the waveform, which correspond to these uh, areas here. Okay, so that's, uh, that's quite good. Um, for example, we can uh, close this pane and now open another uh, pane, which is uh, a very useful one, which is the spectrum, which is basically one slice of the spectrogram. Okay, so if we move the, the waveform, the cursor in the waveform, the uh, spectrum changes. Uh, here, by default, uh, the scale, the horizontal scale, which is what is called the beans, is in lock scale. I really like better to use it in a linear scale. So this is uh, 
the a linear scale of the of the spectrum and uh, normally you would like to zoom in or at least uh, um, show the spectrum in a way that it optimizes the whole uh, range display range so that would be a, a good way to display it okay and um, this is quite uh, intuitive and we can try to understand things about the sound so uh, for example here being in a voice part of the sound we see the peaks of the, the harmonics we s the shape that we see here are kind of the formants of the voice so that's uh, quite nice um, and of course we can change the parameters uh, quite easily Let's go back to the, the, the pane of the spectrogram. Okay. And now uh, we want to talk about the, the, the plugins uh, system that uh, it offers. So in here, okay, we display the, the spectrogram in a way that uh, might be uh, quite appropriate. And now um, I, uh, I install several plugins, but first uh, let's go to the page of uh, Sonic Visualizer and we can go to the, the plugin uh, page. So this is a, a description of the plugin system of Sonic Visualizer and it explains uh, how it works and in fact how to uh, develop for it. And uh, there is a link to uh, a list of the plugins that uh, have been uh, developed uh, with, uh, with this system. Um, and there is quite a lot, there is quite a lot. So I downloaded a few. So if we go back to the, the Sonic Visualizer uh, um, program, and now here, for example, in Transform, um, there is uh, a list of all the plugins that I have installed. And for example, let's use this uh, audio pitch detector. And let's click at that. And this is the interface for the analysis. So this is a plugin uh, developed by Paul Brazier, and uh, the plugin actually was uh, coded by Chris Cannon. Um, and it uh, it uses one algorithm, which is uh, is the Yin algorithm. It's a it's a algorithm that we will talk about in class for uh, detecting the fundamental pitch of a sound. This is an implementation using the fast Fourier transform. Um, and let's just uh, say, okay. Okay, so what this does is analyzes the whole sound um, and displays the fundamental frequency. And it's displayed on top of the spectrogram as a layer. So this is the other concept that I, I was mentioning it. So the layers um, are ways to display th several uh, things on top of the same pane. So here we are seeing the, the spectrogram and on top of it a layer with the pitch curve that I have analyzed. So if we zoom we see clearly this uh, uh, green pitch curve and uh, we will uh, discuss this in class, but uh, we can see that it's uh, identifying the first harmonic of the sound um, and in some areas that uh, there is no harmonics, it clearly it's, uh, it gets confused, but in the, the voice parts, in the parts that are uh, harmonic, it finds it quite easily. If we change the, the window size of the spectrogram bigger so we see the lines uh, more clearer then uh, maybe this becomes uh, more obvious and, uh, and we can see that the pitch analysis uh, did uh, a decent job in identifying the fundamental frequency of, uh, of this uh, speech sound. Okay and that's all I wanted to mention uh, for a sonic visualizer. Um, uh, let's go back to the slides. Um, so you can um, go to the Sonic Visualizer page uh, to get uh, information about uh, the program. There is uh, the plugin, the VAM plugin. Uh, it has a special page uh, that you can access uh, to it uh, from the Sonic Visualizer page. We mentioned about the Yin uh, pitch detection algorithm. 
uh, that we will cover later on, and there are quite a few references about it. And this speed sound came up, uh, came from uh, free sound. And that's all for today. So we introduce uh, another uh, sound uh, visualization tool that's going to be quite useful for the more advanced and uh, scientific visualization that uh, we will talk about in class. So thank you very much, and I uh, will see you next class.